13. Verse 13. Wherefore. Hold it down, y'all. Wherefore, if meat make my brother to a fiend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to a fiend. If you go over there and break them off, don't eat nothing. Basically separate yourself from what you What you ain't separated is what we have to have. Love of your brother. Y'all have to understand, we ain't going over no Muslim house during this time because they ain't celebrating. So it's somebody that's in the word that don't understand the word. They're not understanding why the preacher is telling me to do holidays versus holy days. You got to break them off if you're going over there. That's what the work is about. It can't be about to condemn. It, it can't be about that. It's about building up. You run it down to them. Look at this. What you was talking about, Columbus? You know it was a lie. Yeah, we all know it was a lie. Hell, we repeated it in the seventh grade. He lied. How you going to discover something that's already here? Right. Columbus ain't discovered no So we, that, that's already in our conscience. We know that. We know that that's what's on their conscience. So why now are we pounding them out like that unless we're trying to wean them away from that's what we're trying to be right. weaned from? But we have to be weaned. Yeah. Completely before we get on your wings. You got to remember the mercy right. the most I have. Clear the mold out of our own eye right. before we go through this one. Let's read just this last one, Malice. Chapter, chapter 10. Did we finish that up? Yeah. Go chapter 10, y'all. 20 down, y'all. We close out. This same 1 Corinthians chapter 10, because Paul going to get into it a little bit more better. This is going to be talking about being to a feast, y'all. We got to understand that. And this is what we were talking about, the custom of the people. When we read Jeremiah 10, I ain't going to say that. I'm just going to mention Everybody go to Jeremiah 10 for, for uh, Christmas tree. It's meaning more than Christmas tree because they're custom. S on the end of that. So there's a bunch of other customs that goes on with the nation. The nations have clothing customs, don't they? Yes, they do. Huh? They have homosexual that design what we call fashion. For men and both women. Because you got on a pair of Calvin Klein, or you saying that sets you apart, you can't have on Calvin Klein and then talk about this over here. But if you look at it like it's a pair of jeans, I don't care what they are, they don't make me. Because I got on these jeans, they don't make me. Them jeans need me. And I'm going to show you what I do with these jeans. Huh? If I get full of white coffee, I'll let something loose in these jeans. That's what I think about. That's where we got to be. As far as entertainment, we got to look at entertainment. Everything dealing with sports, basketball, all the whole now. Listen, y'all, when, when they do sports, they have that event tied to that day. For the basketball game, the, the players have, have stocking hats on. Do we still holler and trip for them because that's our favorite player? We give them a pass this day. But I ain't gonna give my mama a pass. But that's my boy. Watch what he gonna do today on Christmas Day. So we have to understand that. And from the entertainment, we can never become what's called a fan. A fan is short for the word fanatic. You getting it chasing, you wanna chase fans and follow behind them. You want you a Michael Jackson, Jacqueline, you wanna start moving on. That's all of that. It's a fanatic. If you got you start betting the title to the car on a game, on a football. Game that tell you is loaded with item worship. Every, every, uh, uh, what do they call it? The deity that they put on the hill. Right. It's always from the dark side. The Duke Blue Demons. The Billikins. The such and such. And you become a fan of the dark side. See, this is what we say. It's got to be a line that you won't cross. I ain't gonna bet the rent money on the game. Right. I'm not going to bet the rent money on what's tied to Roman's origin roots. Right. Do y'all know that football was played naked at first? Understand this, when he put his hand up under the man we're in, where his manhood is at. Where ain't never a man's hand supposed to be another man's hand. And then when you slap him on his rim with tight pants on, and you cuss out, you cuss out Prince about his butt out gym. You know, and you slap him to a place. Now what happens if you get in the shower, does it pass home? Because that's what St. Desi Lawyer say. That's what this game brings in the shower. Now what if you out at the club, you dress in a three-piece suit, standing like this, and they come up? Good game. Good game. No. Yeah. Yeah, I usually, I usually drop that my ass, but I got the toes down, didn't I? I got the toes down. <laughs> hey, so, y'all, we have to understand that according to these line of clothes, we can't go over bearing with it. Uh, stilettos can't be up to the arch because it's hip rock. If you're struggling there, can't walk 
look like you know you bend over and sneaking from something. You, <laughs> you, you got you too far into the clothes. If you do anything to make people see this is where my light at, what I have on the outer cup makes me who I am, right, right, then right. you have fallen across the line with clothes. Right. We supposed to look at clothes as just what they are. Right. Let me say yeah. Levi's, these say Wranglers. Yeah, if these cool. say this, if I show favor to them, they all made by the same man. Right. If we go to a job, crop it and down. Was in on the slave trade. Yeah. Made all their money off a of free slave. Can I work for them? Can I be a sports athlete because it's tied to Roman roots? I can't tell nobody you can't be an athlete and stop making them. I'm hating that. But the bottom line is, they have to not become an idol to the people. They got what they do, they pump them up. Become an idol. Become an idol. Be worshiped. That has to be a line for those athletes as well. Yeah. So what I'm talking about in the custom, you won't be tied into one on which way you're not. But there's a line for us that we cannot cross because you are in this kingdom. You are in this world, but you don't have to be of it. It completely of the world will void this out. It says cross the line. Right. Right. Cross the line. The hell are you talking about? Cross it. You want Vibe magazine? You you want you want this magazine? You want hustler? You what do you want? Yeah, the TV show. Hustler. They said you want draw the line. Let's just hit this last y'all. We out of here. I promise y'all. We out of this first grade. This team. Let's hit that part. And should, and should one receive a full academic scholarship to Arizona State, the Sun Devils? It, 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 you know, right? It's, it's, what's my education? Who else we gonna educate? Look, this is another dog say. We talk about Dr. Ben Carson, but we say we shouldn't go up in their university. How are you going to pump up Dr. Ben Carson, the number one uh, brain surgeon on planet Earth, who studied in Harvard University? You can't praise him and then say you can't go to university and your praise is about what he's accomplished in the university. We, we can't play games yeah, with ourselves right. like yeah, that yeah. and then use it for the same thing to exalt Strong yourself. Yeah. It's the same thing to bring you smashing back down right. if somebody understands Real. the line. Right. Right. Let's just get this last one, y'all. We close out. First Corinthians 10. Let's get it. First, first Corinthians. First, chapter, verse 19. Okay. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 19. What say I then that the idol is anything Ooh. or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? <laughs> you don't care. It don't matter what they offer to us. I don't care what they're doing to Allah. That don't matter to us. It's all foolishness. It's all part of idol worship. It should have no regards to you that you look at somebody and start foaming at their mouth and say, you, you damn dog. You can't do it. We can't do it because we the same dog. Right. Let's look at some more. Verse 20. But I say that the thing which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to them right. and not to God. And I will not that you should have fellowship with devils. So the most I say no fellowship with devils. And then what that means is we can't go to Ramadan feasts. Mm -hmm. We can't go to this feast because no Masonic Lodge. No Masonic Lodge and fellowship where, where you get into the God. If you hold hands at the Ramadan feast, they're praying to their God. You are partaking, you in fellowship with the worship of another God. We can't do it. Let's read some more. Okay. And that's that second witness, Ephesians 5, 11 and 12. Go ahead, get it, finish that up. Verse 21. Yeah. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devil. Mm. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devil. Well, Lord, how you going to make me send my kids to public school and I'm whole? You done made me a slave because of my poor father. How else they gonna get taught? And they say if he ain't at school in three days, they gonna send a truant officer here. And then they gonna charge me $500 for every day he miss out of school, Lord. <laughs> How can you then not be partaker of the devil? And part of the law, it can't mean that. What it means is you educate them according to this record. You can do that at home. There's free will to do that at home. When you send them out into the world, they understand. I was born just to answer the questions accordingly. That's the point. So is it we playing? No, we're not playing with Satan because we're answering what they're asking us. Did Columbus discover America? You say he did. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but if you write on there, hell no. <laughs> the Indians was here and y'all slaughtered them. Baal, that's what y'all have. The ten. Yeah. 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 Ye
And they're going to say, what is the matter with him? Why is he so violent? Right. He's thinking about it. He's saying it's something about what you guys worship. Right. That's what he's saying. Right? Now, if, if, you want, if, if he's going to have that attitude, he can't come here. So now he's got to go home. And guess what? You ain't going to homeschool him. That's why you send him to public school in the first place. Because it gets him out of your house. Go to school. And because you're probably unwilling to do what Solomon said in uh, Proverbs 22, 6. Spell it out, Train up a child in the way he should go. Right. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Y'all hear that? They may get out in the world and a line cross, but they'll come back across that line. That's the best we can hope for in this kingdom, y'all. It's the best we can hope for for ourselves because we got to go to work. And when we go to work, you think they're going to say, they say, no, this is what we'll do. We'll change it from Christmas party to holiday party. We're going to include your holy days in it as well. Problem fixed. You can come to work now. But the bottom line is, are you going to give us that Christmas money back? Or are you going to donate it to the rest of the team? Hell no, really. Let's get some more. Right, let's finish it out. You got a question. Go ahead. Hold it down, y'all. We just got these last few scriptures, y'all. Go ahead, sis. Hold it down, y'all. Hold it down, y'all. Go ahead. Part of their, um, their, their curriculum. Uh -huh. So how is it, like, if somebody doesn't want their child in public school because they're having issues, if they put their child in that Catholic school, is that fellowshipping with them? Well, this is what it is. Catholic school, school tells you. See, this is the key. Satan tells you up front. Mm -hmm. So it's free will. They tell you. We say Hail Mary's here. Yeah. But we give you the best education. Mm -hmm. But Maybe she's going to say Hail Mary and she's going to educate here. Now, she's going to get the best education, but there'll be a few Hail Marys flying out of her mouth if she sins. So the bottom line is either she go there, you got to teach her, don't get into the way of sin in that Catholic school. Don't make them put you in a position to have to say Hail Mary. Get that education and get on out. But if you do that, they got to be prepared for that, or you cannot send your children into that fire dean. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I did. He went to Catholic school, and I uh -huh. sat down with the principal, his teachers, and everybody was aware that he's not contributing to any of those ceremonies. Right. Ash Day, whatever they that's do, right. he can't that's participate. Oh, that's fine. That, that's fine, but because it's about yeah, money to them. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, they know it's free me. It's about money, but the difference is yeah, they are going to right. see it continuously. Right. They don't care. We're going to get your money, and we're going to yeah. still do what we do. Right. Your money is not going to change the atmosphere around here. So right. he goes, he's got to sit through hearing his yeah. class don't say Hail Mary. He's got to sit through yeah. when the Pope be on TV. We're going to shut it down, and we're going to call everybody, going to call the Holy Father. He has to sit through that. Or if you keep him out of school, he missed too many days, you lose your tuition, and he's going to fail. Now, you have to weigh all of that out before you put him into that entity, and then he's a child. That's why you got to train him up. So you got to train him up, like the script says. They get out there, they can make a wise decision. But right. in this land of captivity, how are you going to get out of the customs? Out right. Of the right. So we're not saying this is no way teaching that. Do the feast. All we're saying is act like they don't <coughs> exist. If you did this with these people yesterday, do it with them today. If you didn't idol worship with them yesterday, you ain't got to do it today. Right. You can be just be you. They know. They should they know, know who you are. Right. Well, they know. If there's a problem when you go, you're going for, uh, uh, for, for, for action. Yeah, Spiritually, public school. Yeah, they got me last year. When they had on the Jews. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Let's finish this out. Let's finish this out, y'all. Verse 22. This is the last one, y'all. Come on, y'all. We're going down to verse 29 and we call it a day. Go ahead. Verse 22. Go ahead. We provoke the Lord to jealousy. Right. Are we stronger than he? Right. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not. Y'all hold these side boys down, y'all. Go ahead. But verse 23. All things are lawful for me. But all things are not expedient. Right. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. So we have to understand some things are expedient, all things are not expedient. You may not get this on the first go round, bro. You may realize that, oh, I did that wrong when I was trying to break them off about that. It ain't going to be expedient right. every time. You're not going to get the message across every time. Right. This is where patience and long suffering is coming. If you truly believe that they're on the right path, but you know what's got. Yeah, you know what keep, keep you. We know what keeping us now. Yeah. Them secret scenes. Let's get some more. 
Verse 24. Right. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's will. Another will. You want to see them become rich in the faith. That's your job, to make sure they become rich in the faith. And the only way they can do that is if you give them the word. Because how they become rich, then they tell it to somebody else. And you become rich out of that because you see the fruit of, of the teachings of the Bible that you gave forth. It's, it's rich. It's, it's coming all throughout the earth. It's rich. It's Revelation 2 and 9. You know, I know you, you're poor in poverty, tribulation, but you're rich. We, we got to understand that we, we, we seek another man's wealth. We seek them to bring them up out of poverty, of spiritual uh, uh, degradation, of spiritual uh, uh, homelessness. We got to bring them back up, y'all, and seek that wealth of another man. Let's read some more. Verse 25. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles, markets, that eat. Asking no questions for conscience sake. It don't mean eat. Paul ain't never tell us to break the law. That's the first thing. So right. when he say eat, whatever's in there, you can't go in if you go down to the Sula market where we get our lamb from. Jerry, then only lamb come in today and no other meat hanging. Because we ain't going to buy from you from the, for the Passover. He say, you think I care about that? Look at that line behind you. Get out of <laughs> You know, See, in conscience sake, we can't start wondering what's going on in the back if we right. go there to purchase it. You know what's there when you go. They have meat of other nations. Only, but we're going to get the kicker here. going to tell us when not to do it. Let's get it. Verse 26. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Okay. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast. See, this is a non-believer bidding you to a feast. Brother, we have in Ramadan today. Mm. And please come to, to our Thanksgiving dinner where we honor Columbus for his great works here in America. See, they are beating you to a feast. They're not believers. See, they, they, they are beating you to an idol worshiping type of deal. They are telling you this. See, it's up front. Let's read some more. And you be disposed to go whatsoever is said before you, eat, asking no questions. For conscience sake. That's the bottom line. They said, whatever said before you eat, Paul is saying, look, if you there, are you there to break off the word, or are you there to eat because of something else? Okay. Little tender you've been trying to get at. Here she coming to the feast of the unbelief. I hear this guy over here with a few extra muscles coming to the feast. You want to be there. You there for that. So now, once they tell you, or she tell you, no, I don't want your phone number. Don't like you, ain't never liked you. So now you want to blast an event now. That's all I got in here going to hell. That's what I come for. I said, all of y'all going to hell. And especially when you're saying it's my phone number. When you're disposed to go, disposed means you reason with yourself in your mind why I am going to be there. So there can be no conscience on this level of condemnation. Say, say, say that again. That's what it's, it's when you dispose to go, dispose when you've reasoned with yourself in your mind. Should I go? This is a feast of non believers So you know up front what it is. Right. Am I going you for the opportunity to break it off when the opportunity presents itself? It's like we'll go to feast and the opportunity never come, and then you just blurt it out anyway. Hell goers! <laughs> Because the opportunity never presented itself, you got to take it, leave, and wait on the next. But see, you're concerned more with once a year than every day sin that they're doing. And see, this is what I'm talking about. So you got to wait a whole another year for the opportunity. If it never presents itself, you just can't go no more or whatever. But you cannot go and bump rush the deal in another man's home, another woman's home, and tell them what they ought to be doing. And you're a guest. Just tell you a guest. And you're there for, for, you may not be there for the eating. I'm just going to watch the game. You know why? Because the six packs are unlimited. <laughs> and they got plenty of peanuts and pretzels. They ain't want to be dressing, but them peanuts gonna get hammered. <laughs> and they cold beer. I'm gonna get frostbite. I'm gonna drink so many of them. Let's get some more, y'all. Let's finish this up. Okay. Verse 28. But if any man say it to you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols. What they say? This is offered in sacrifice unto idols. Every time we go to the supermarket around this year, Christmas candy, regular candy, you know, same you know, Snickers, Halloween candy. Halloween candy. They tell you what's offered to idols. Yeah. This ain't all that. So you got a choice. Do I not go in Snooks, period, doing that day? If you do it for your parents, then you have to do it for the supermarket. Hell, they going even deeper. They telling you it's, it's for idols. 
Understand this. Understand this. Your friends don't think they do it devil worship. They tell you it's for the devil. Do you still go in there and purchase whatever you do? Do you overlook the guy who wants to see now, Halloween bags out in your course. No, no Halloween bags. You're overlooking the Halloween bags. What I'm right. saying is, it gets your righteous stuff. Can't you, in like manner, go to them because you've been going every day and overlooking that day unless it warrants you to bring that truth out? Because you have to understand, everybody ain't in there for the sake of this. Somebody may be in there saying, "Bro, every time I notice you don't, you just enjoy yourself, but you don't, you don't get in the car." Right. It's my mom, I love her. I come by to say hi to her like I do every day, but I'm not a part of it. What's up? What's with you down with? You one go. out of the 99. See, go. we looking at the large numbers. One, one will hide a multitude of sin. You want the whole 99, you want your slate white queen clean. For what? Do it again tomorrow? At least I start with one tomorrow. Sin is sin. Let's get you more. Let's finish this up. Right here. Right here. Continuation of verse 28. This is okay. Eat not for his sake they showed you. Again, verse 28. If any man say unto you, This is offered in sacrifice to idols, eat not for his sake they showed it. And for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Conscious, I say, not thy own, but of the other. Well, why is my liberty judged of another man's conscience? And it's asking the question, look, if we go in here, my conscience is to break them off. But then, mine going to be judged behind how I do it. Do I need to be there? But if I'm going to be there, then I got to expect that my conscience may come into question as well. Why are you really here? Is them sweet potato pies. You ain't fooling nobody. You've been having a hanger on with them since you was a little boy, and you still got it. But you gonna come here and say the dressing is bad, but those sweet potatoes were made with leaven and uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the crust. This escapes what y'all eat. <laughs> no, we can't play games with ourselves, let alone a brother that's weak in the faith. Let's finish it up before we go ahead. Verse 30. Okay. For if I by grace, by what? By grace, be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of for for that which I give thanks. So he's just saying, look, if I give thanks to by grace, most high, let me show somebody something. You know, I can't be 